What's up, YouTube? Some of you guys have seen the video where I bought 100,000 sports cards. Uh, I looked through that one box, and I was showing you some stuff out of it. This is that box. Plus, I added a few more things that I found in a couple more boxes. I haven't looked through any, any of the boxes, really. I just kind of breezed through and picked out, like, or, you know, lifted up, like, two sections in each box just to see what they were. And then I put them in a thing. But here's... Here's some stuff I found. Well, we're gonna go through this box here. I haven't been into cards for a long time, so I mean I know what I know this is a David Robinson rookie. I don't know you know how much it's worth or anything. And we found a whole set of these. So we still have another one of these with a with it in a whole set. There's one, two, three, four. There's at least five. I think there oh here we go. Might be some more in here somewhere. Six. Shaquille Topps rookies. There's some kind of Jordan. And of course, you know, there's some there's some trash in here too. I mean, this is just stuff he had sleeved thinking it was good stuff. Who knows, 20 years ago or something. Like I said the majority of it is just junk. You know. But like you know, this stuff here, some of it I can, you know, maybe put it in, you know, 10, you know, like Steve Garvey sends his mail for five bucks, Rice charges 10 bucks, Vita Blue charges 10 bucks. So some of these guys I could TTM. There's a bit thing I could do, like 10, like different Barry Sanders cards for like a dollar and a little thing or something. I could do like 10 of those. Those might be all Marinos. I mean, there's... There's some star cards, it's, they're just like, you know, a lot of it's junk era. There's a cool little Nolan Ryan, there's a Jim Palmer I could get signed for 10 bucks. But everybody was kind of asking, they wanted to see what was in these boxes. And I just didn't want to, you know, bore you guys with a bunch of common boxes because I think I think most of them are commons but like I said I found some really good stuff in here so far these are those desert shield cards see they got the little desert logo on it they were only given away uh, during the war to the soldiers I think they were my friend was in the military at the time he told me they were limited two packs per soldier so they're pretty pretty limited I saw some of these are going for big money I had especially if they're graded like the one to look out for is Chipper Jones, and I didn't have any Chipper Jones. I have mostly reds for some reason. But uh, there's Eric Davis, Mike Barlecki. But I think the Lou Pinellas 20 bucks out of it, and I had two uh, two Lou Pinellas in here somewhere. And here's some more. These are mostly commons. They're mostly commons. I'm not going to go through all these commons. But even the commons are going for like $5 with shipping on eBay a piece. I may do a big lot of these. I don't know. Sell them on eBay or, you know, get the ones signed. I can get signed maybe. But try to get rid of the higher priced ones. There's a Frank Viola. I mean, he's a decent player, except the Frank Viola was bent. Plus he signs his mail for five bucks. And the Randy Milligan is bent. Like I said, a lot of reds. I'm in Ohio, so the guy probably you know, was buying up reds cards or something. There's Joe Morgan. I think there was 134. 134 of these. Desert Storm cards. There's Joe Torrey. That's a pretty good one. Too bad he wasn't with the Yankees in that one. There's a Lou Pinnell. I saw some of those. No, that's Hal Morris. There's Barry Larkin All-Star. I think that was like a $20 one. Joe Oliver. No, there's the Lou Pinella. Got two of those. Those are going for like 20 bucks. 
And these are in good shape too. I might, you know, take magnifying glasses to them and see if they're worth grading. I ended up getting two of these Barry Larkin All-Star ones. But like I said, when you're paying 0 0.0001 cent a card, <laughs> there's a Mark Grace. That one's probably a pretty good one. He was a good ball player. I right, said so these just look like, there's like Jeter. The lighting here tonight's horrible, guys. Looks like some Griffies. Piazza. Hey, there's Warren Moon. So, uh, he's been signing his mail lately. I don't know who he's been getting him back lately, but I saw a couple weeks ago people were getting him. Some Pro Set. There's Marino. 81 Lester Hayes. Hey, there's Franco. So, like I said, they're not all commons, but. I said, it's, I did find, I did see some older ones in some of the boxes, but nothing major. And a lot of the older ones were in, you know, beat up shape. Scotty Pippen. This looks like thousand yarders. I don't know if they're, I don't know if it's a set. Let's open it up and find out. There's Roger Craig, he signs his mail. I'm really not liking the way this is turning out. I can't really see what the stuff is. But there's still, like I said, tons in this box. There's some of these Mickey Mantles. Hey, there's a nice Magic Johnson. That's probably $15 or something. There's a couple, oh, there's a nice 61 Whitey Ford. That looks like it's in decent shape, too. Yeah, that's nice. See, so I'm getting some stuff. I mean, they're not, it's not all horrible. I mean, these, these are good for like dollar box stuff. Somebody would probably buy those for a dollar. There's a Frank Thomas rookie. I like these, this is, I'm gonna find out if any of these guys saw it and send these off. I think it's an 85 Packers police set. Oops. There's a Deion Sanders rookie. I'm just gonna go through this stuff. This is just a lot of junk. But it'll be good for TTM, or TT, yeah, TTM fuel, man. I always like to get these signed, but a lot of these guys don't sign anymore. Back when I used to first started years ago, most of these guys signed. I used to get a lot of these guys through the mail. So yeah, I can do something with these. That's a ton of just Hall of Famers, pretty much. There's just Super Bowl ones. Another Willie Mays. There's that Andy Russell I showed you guys the other day. That's like a $50 card. And it was in good shape too. There's one of those Dream Team Jose Canseco's. Icky Woods rookie. Chris Spielman rookie. There's a lot of like Hall of Famer rookies in here, but they're the junk ones. Like there was tons of like uh, Glavin rookies and Smoltz rookies and Randy Johnson rookies and all that kinds of stuff. Just tons, tons of them. Be okay if I got them graded, maybe, because they all look like they've never been touched since, you know, the 80s. There's Barry Bonds. I mean, there was binders and stuff, too. There was just so much stuff in this deal. I mean, 100,000 cards is a lot of cards, man. There's Juan Gonzalez, I can send to him. Hey, there's a Messina rookie, $10, I could get that signed. Oh, 
Nolan Ryan's, Nolan Ryan, Nolan Ryan. Griffey's, Larry Walker rookie. In the miners, there was a bunch of like inserts and stuff like that. Clint Jeter, Clint, nope, Clemens. Barry Bonds. There's some older football. Some of those guys signed their mail. Like Mark Van Egan signs his mail. Jack Thompson signs his mail. I think Jim Breach signs his mail. I think. Rob Parsons signs his mail. Mike Fuller signs his mail. Mike Smithson signs his mail. Not sure if Newman does or not. I sent to him, but I think Randy Lurch does his mail. I think Billy Ray Smith does. Ed Lynch does. Louis Lips, I think, does for five bucks. Bobby Brister does. James Brooks, I think, does for five bucks or something, maybe. There's a Jeter. Yeah, there's some stars in here. I'll do something. I'll make some money on this stuff. There's Derek Jeter, too. I just wanted it for the TTM fuel. Anything that's beyond the fuel is just going to be bonus to help pay for all the fuel. I said, because I don't collect cards, so I'll be more than happy to sell this stuff as lots and stuff. Charlie Huff, he signs his mail. Chris Cordelli signs his mail. Billy Sample signs his mail. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of good cards. I think the, I, I'm thinking both of those guys sign their mail. I saw somebody else get something like this, I think. Oh, here we go. Eric Dickerson, instant replay. That's his rookie year. He used to sign his mail for like 10 bucks. Isaac Curtis was signing his mail. There's some Nolan Ryans. Hey, there's a Favre rookie. So like I said, there's nothing that, you know that's really gonna jump out and be worth a million bucks. Horschel Walker. There was a 900 count box of Auburn football coat cards. That looks like some junk. I mean, these, some of them are stars. There's a Carl Malone, John Olerud. I don't know if he's still signing or not. I have a ton of these. I don't know if they're worth anything or not, but I saw about 20 of these. Well, I'm getting almost uh, to my 15 minutes, and that's all my phone lets me do, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and let me know in the comments, and I'll film some more of it. If not, I'm not going to film anymore. Uh, I'll just sort it out. But let me know, guys, in the comments if, if you want to see more of this or hit the like button. Because, like I said, you never know what you never know what I'm going to find. And, hey, there's a Jordan. Oops, that's got to be worth some. Griffey. Hey, there's a Bruce Smith rookie. I mean, there's some decent stuff in here. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for joining us. Hit the all button. Peace. Just found this when I stopped the camera. Awesome.